Lesson 11.6, Sort Two-Dimensional Shapes. This is 11.5 in the 2012 copyright. We can use the number of sides and angles to sort two-dimensional shapes. We count the sides and angles of each shape to sort them and follow a given rule. We can make the given shape with a pattern block or pattern blocks. Here we have a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral. We can make it with one pattern block. It has four sides. Or we can make a rhombus with two pattern blocks. Triangles. We put two triangles together. We can make a rhombus. Here it's telling us to make the given shape with pattern blocks, and the given shape is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral. It has four sides. One, two, three, four. We can make a trapezoid with one red pattern block that has four sides. We can also make a trapezoid with two pattern blocks. We can use a triangle and a rhombus. The triangle has three sides. The rhombus has four sides. We could also make a trapezoid with three triangles. This is telling us to circle the shapes that match the given rule. So what's the given rule? Well, that's this right here. It says shapes with fewer than four sides. So we need to circle the shapes that have fewer than four sides. That means less than four sides. Here we have a triangle. It has one, two, three sides. Three is less than four, so this fits the rule. It's a shape with fewer than four sides. Here we have a rectangle. It's a quadrilateral, and it has one, two, three, four sides. But it's supposed to be fewer than four sides, so the rectangle doesn't fit. Here we have a pentagon with one, two, three, four, five sides. Five is not fewer than four, so this one doesn't count. And here we have another triangle with one, two, three sides. So that fits. The two triangles have fewer than four sides. This says shapes with more than three angles. Well, the triangle has three angles, one, two, three. And it's supposed to have more than three. So it's not the triangles. What about this one? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six angles. So yes, that would be a shape with more than three angles. We circle that one. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven angles. That's definitely more than three, so we can circle that one also. Again, we need to circle the shapes that match the given rule. The rule is shapes with four angles. So do you remember, if it has four angles and it's a two-dimensional shape, then it has four sides. This does not have four sides. It has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So it can't have four angles. It has to have six angles. Do you think this one has four angles? We can count one, two, three, four, but then we have five, six, seven, eight angles. And it has eight sides, so it's not this one. How about this? One, two, three, four. Yes, that has four angles. That's a trapezoid. It's a quadrilateral with four angles. What about this pentagon? It has one, two, three, four, five sides, but that means it's going to have five angles. So it's not a shape with four angles. So this trapezoid is the only one that fits the rule. Over here it says shapes with more than five sides. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Six is more than five, so this one fits the rule. It's got more than five sides. This one has one, two, three, four, five sides. But it's supposed to have more than five sides, so this one does not fit the rule. Here we have a triangle with three sides. That doesn't fit the rule. 
And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. So yes, that's a shape with more than five sides. Seven is more than five. So we can circle that one. It's telling us to draw a shape that matches the rule, then draw a shape that does not match the rule. So here's the rule. Shapes with more than four sides. So we need to draw a shape that follows the rule, a shape with more than four sides. So we can draw one, two, three, four, five sides. That follows the rule. It has more than four sides. We have one, two, three, four, five sides. We also know that means it has five angles, doesn't it? Now we need to draw a picture of a shape that does not follow the rule. Shapes with more than four sides. So we need a shape that does not have more than four sides. We could draw a triangle. That doesn't have more than four sides. It's only got one, two, three sides. And we know that means it's got three angles too, don't we? So we drew a shape that followed the rule. It had more than four sides. And we drew a shape that did not follow the rule. This is telling us to put each shape where it belongs in the table. This side says shapes with fewer than five angles. This side says shapes with more than four angles. So we need to put some shapes with fewer than five angles on this side. That means they're also going to have fewer than five sides, aren't they? Because in a two-dimensional shape, the number of angles is the number of sides. So the triangle would fit. It's got three angles. The square would also fit. We could put that here. That's got four angles. One, two, three, four. Shapes with more than four angles. Well, that would be a pentagon. It's got five sides, so it has five angles. And the hexagon. The hexagon has six sides, so that means it has six angles. Now we put each shape where it belonged. Here we have a riddle. It says, I am a shape with less than five sides. I am not a triangle. What shape am I? Circle the correct shape. Well, it says it's not a triangle, so we know it's not a triangle. It says it has less than five sides. We know a pentagon has five sides. It needs to be less than that, so it's not the pentagon. What about a quadrilateral? How many sides does a quadrilateral have? A quadrilateral has four sides. So a quadrilateral fits, and a hexagon has six sides. That's not less than five, so we know the shape is a quadrilateral. Here I have a yellow hexagon pattern block. If I put two trapezoids together, I can make a hexagon. Here, if I put three rhombuses together, I can make a hexagon. And here, if I put six triangles together, I can make a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides, six angles, and six vertices. Our next lesson, 11.7, is called Partition Rectangles. We're going to see how many same size squares will fit into a rectangle. I hope you have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.